snowball effect, right? If productions are being put on hold, things aren't being casted, you're not going to be going out on auditions. COVID-19 is hitting Vancouver TV and film workers. It started earlier this week with locally produced hit show Riverdale postponing production after a key cast member was exposed to the virus. By Friday, Netflix shutting down production on all of its scripted television and film projects right across Canada and the U.S. I, I just received emails from my agents uh, that a lot of things are being put on hold. And that's tricky for someone like Andrew who moved to Vancouver just last year to pursue acting. He spent the last two months networking, getting a local agent, and has had some success booking gigs on stage, shooting his first indie film, and most recently found himself within reach of what he says could have been the big break. Uh, well, what I can tell you is it's a, it was a big union project, a big supporting role in a feature film. But now, thanks to COVID-19, the project and along with it, the role are in limbo. Everything's kind of being put on hold and everything's being kind of log jammed now. Now, Andrew says he'll be patient and still feels optimistic, but he's worried that in the meantime, another industry that actors often fall back on will take a beating as well. As the old cliche goes, a lot of actors are servers first. So even in the restaurant industry now, we're seeing a lot of, you know, a lot less tourists going out. The restaurants aren't as busy right now just because of this huge outbreak. So it's really upsetting a lot, you know, further things, and it's attached to actors in a lot of ways that people aren't even really thinking about. So I don't think he has to be concerned. Meanwhile, the CEO of the BC Restaurant and Food Services Association says the industry will probably still have the back of people like Andrew. We are under a severe labor shortage, and so... Um, irrespective of what we're talking about, I think there's always going to be a, a job somewhere for him to get through his, his, um, you know, what he's doing. He says the situation is unlikely to mirror that in downtown Seattle, where the public became fearful of entire areas, forcing some restaurants to close. He adds as more people find themselves taking a staycation, the biz may ultimately emerge stronger. If we do that, we'll be much better positioned to sort of build our local economy in a way that's not so reliant on all these external resources. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.